Of 35 versus Su-57, which superpower built the better fighter? Two of the world's most advanced fighter jets, one built for total battlefield domination, the other for absolute air superiority. The American F-35 and the Russian Su-57, two aircraft that symbolize the rivalry between military superpowers. But here's the real question. Which one is truly superior? And is the F-35 really worth its massive price tag, or is the Su-57 just an overhyped prototype? The F-35 Lightning II, a product of the U.S. defense industry, was designed with one core philosophy, stealth first, everything else second. It's a flying computer, integrating the latest in AI and battlefield connectivity. The Su-57 Felon, on the other hand, is Russia's answer to American air dominance, a beast built for dogfighting speed and raw firepower. Unlike the F-35, stealth takes a backseat to maneuverability and firepower. The F-35 is often mocked for being a jack-of-all-trades master of none, while the Su-57 is criticized as an underfunded and incomplete project. But which accusation holds more weight? The F-35 has a radar cross-section comparable to a golf ball, making it one of the hardest jets to detect. The Su-57 while stealthy by Russian standards, has exposed engine fans and an overall design that doesn't match the low observable capabilities of its American rival. Russian engineers claim the Su-57 has stealth on demand, a questionable claim given its visible radar signature. So is it a true stealth fighter or just an upgraded 4th gen jet pretending to be 5th gen? The Su-57 can supercruise at Mach 2, perform extreme high angle of attack maneuvers, and has advanced three-dimensional thrust vectoring. The F-35, while not as agile, is no slouch. It uses high-tech situational awareness and missile systems to compensate for its lower maneuverability. Many critics say the F-35 would lose in a dogfight, but the real question is, would it ever need to engage in one? With long-range sensors and stealth, the F-35 might fire first and never even be seen. The F-35 sensor fusion distributed aperture system and AI-assisted targeting make it arguably the most advanced fighter cockpit in history. The Su-57 has modern avionics, but lacks the same level of integration and network warfare capability. This is where the F-35 shines. While the Su-57 pilot is relying on radar and infrared tracking, the F-35 pilot is seeing the entire battlefield in real time. This kind of information dominance can decide the outcome before a missile is even fired. The F-35 carries AIM-120 AMRAAM and AIM-9X Sidewinders designed for beyond visual range kills. The Su-57 carries R-77 and R-37M missiles, some of the longest range air-to-air -air missiles in the world. The Su-57 packs a serious punch, but the F-35 fights dirty, firing before the enemy even knows it's there. But let's talk about the elephant in the room. The F-35 is in full production, with over 1,000 jets in service worldwide. It has been combat tested by multiple nations. The Su-57? Only about 20 to 30 are currently operational with no significant combat record. Russia claims it will produce 76 Su-57S by 2028, but with ongoing economic struggles and sanctions, will these jets even see widespread deployment? Meanwhile, the F-35 is being exported to over a dozen nations and is already flying combat missions. The F-35 costs around $80 million per unit, with some variants going even higher. Maintenance costs are also a major issue. The Su-57 is estimated to cost around $35 to $40 million, making it significantly cheaper. Is the F-35 overpriced, or is the Su-57 just an underdeveloped prototype? Some argue that the US spent too much on an aircraft that isn't a true dogfighter while others believe Russia simply can't afford to build a real fifth-generation fighter at scale. So, who takes the crown? The F-35 is a stealthy networked war machine optimized for modern air combat. 
The Su-57 is a high-speed, high-maneuverability fighter built for raw air dominance. If stealth electronics and real-world deployment matter, F-35 wins. If agility, firepower, and cost matter, Su-57 has the edge. But let's be real, these two jets will likely never face off in a direct dogfight. The true battle is one of military influence. The F-35 is flooding the world with American air power, while the Su-57 remains an elusive project struggling to leave Russia's borders. Now the real question, do you think the Su-57 is an underappreciated fighter, or is the F-35 the true king of the skies? Drop your thoughts in the comments. If you love military superpower debates, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. More controversial comparisons coming your way. Stay tuned.